we have a problem here that involves three consecutive integers, and consecutive integers or consecutive odd integers are, for instance, three, five, and seven, or let's say 11, 13, and 15. They're in consecutive order, but they're all odd. So the first one's odd. The next is going to be the next odd number after that, and the next odd number after that. So let's go to the board and take a look at how we work this problem. So we have the sum of three consecutive odd integers is 69. Find the integers. Well, let's start by saying let's let x be the first odd integer. The next odd integer after that will be x plus 2. For instance, if this is 5, this is going to be 7, two more. If this was, let's say, 23, this would be 25. If this was 31, this would be 33. Then the next one after that will be two more than that, or x plus 4. So let's let x, x plus 2, and x plus 4 be the three odd integers. So I'm saying x, x plus 2, and x plus 4 are the, the consecutive odd integers. Now when I, when I read the problem again, I see that their sum is 69. So let's add them up. x plus x plus 2 plus x plus 4 is equal to 69. So I have x, x plus 2, x plus 4 equals 69. I'll simplify this side. 3x plus 6 equals 69, okay? If I add negative 6 to both sides, I'll end up with 3x is equal to 63. Now I'll divide both sides by 3 and end up with x is equal to 21. So x equal 21 is the first of our three odd integers. So I have x equal 21. The next odd integer after that will be x plus 2, which is 23. And then the next odd integer after that will be two more than that, or 25. So here's my three odd integers, 21, 23, and 25. They're consecutive odd integers. They're all odd, and their sum is 69. So we've solved the problem that way by letting x, x plus 2, and x plus 4 represent our odd integers, writing an equation, solving the equation, then checking our answers.